What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we've got team of the week full team predictions and this team of the week is looking very, very interesting to the point where there is some serious players that could actually slide into the team of the week but there is some other players that, you know, they're like 82s, the 81s, the 79s that could end up being in your red player picks, as simple as that. But the first person is going to be Lionel Messi himself. Breaking the most goals for a single club and why he should be getting the record breaker card. One goal, one assist, a 9.2 rating with obviously the man of the match performance. Now the thing is, team of the year is just round the corner. So they might not actually give Lionel Messi this record breaker card or even any special card until team of the year. Because we all know that team of the year is about to be a 99 overall. So the other person that could actually get it for Barcelona could be Lenglet. Lenglet, outrageous guy. We all know how he was last year. My God, the pace, the defending, the physicals. He was one of the most overpowered centre-backs last year. It was ridiculous to see. He was like a Ferran this year. That's how good he was. One goal. An 8.3 rating, obviously not getting a man of match performance because Lionel Messi did, but he still had a performance and a half. Moving over, we are going to have Ribery. Now, you might be questioning, Ribery, one assist, an 8.0 rating. Is that going to be really enough for a team of the week, Orzio? Well, Florentina didn't just beat any team. They beat Juventus, 3-0, boys. They beat Juventus, 3-0, and Ribery taking a big, big performance. The guy just doesn't disappoint, does he? He always performs on the big stage. It's simple as that. So Ribery will most likely be getting a team of the week. Does he look like a really, really good card? It's a card that without a doubt needs the Hunter Chem style. But let's all be fair. Unless this Ribery card gets like a special card like he got last year, I doubt he would be that usable. Probably people will have him on the bench for the sake of him just being Ribery, if you know what I mean. Moving over, we are going to see Sommer, a guy that got so many Team of the Weeks last year. It was absolutely ridiculous. Getting himself a goal, an assist, an 8.4 rating with the Man of Match performance. Now, how usable does he actually look in FIFA? Not that usable. He doesn't really look like the meta card. Yeah, he can bang a shot with his 88 shooting, but that's pretty much like it. He can't really do anything else. Like he's got no pace to his game. The dribbling doesn't look great. The passing doesn't look great. And he doesn't even come from the greatest league. So it's going to be a hard person to link up with. But it's a card that I really can't see getting used into a lot of people's teams. Going on to the next player, we are going to see Dia. Now Dia's card is actually starting to look a bit interesting because the pace is there. The shooting ability is there. If this guy gets himself a few more informs or even another special card, he could be a very, very usable card. He got himself a goal, an assist, an 8.2 rating with the man of match performance. But yeah, he's even got physicals to his game. So it'll be interesting to see how he develops, you know, how how this card will probably end up near the end of the year. Because if he gets a few more informs, <laughs> He's looking serious. Very, very serious. Heading over to the next player, we are going to see Eduardo. Now, I believe Eduardo had like a really good card last year, but I can't remember what card it actually was. He's got 88 pace, 86 dribbling, 80 shooting with the 79 physical, and he's looking like a really, really nice card. He's obviously French, so you can link him up with, you know, God-tier God players like the Mbappes, the Pogbas, the Martials, the Usman Dembele's, the Griezmann's. There's so many people you can link this guy up with. He's got himself a goal, an assist, and a 9.3 rating with the man of match performance as well looking onto the next player we are going to see Rodalega, i believe is how you pronounce it a striker with 78 pace 79 shooting 8 free dribbling 76 passing with the 75 physicals as well two goals a 9.0 rating obviously getting a man of match as well how usable does he look in fifa not that much. Let's all be fair. He looks like a card that, yeah, he would be pretty decent, but it looks like a card that you'll probably end up getting in your player picks, and you're probably going to just, you know, you have to put him into like an SBC. But we move on. Heading over to Linson. Now, Linson's another striker that actually looks pretty good as well. 84 pace, 80 dribbling, 80 shooting, 73 physical with the 74 passing. So many strikers. So many strikers, especially Linson getting himself three goals, a hat trick, a 9.7 rating and obviously he ended up getting man of match as well but a card that looks very good 
without a doubt. If once again, if he gets a few more informs, we could be seeing a very, very nice Eredivisie striker. So looking at a silver now, we are going to see Wadji. Now Wadji's looking like an absolute outrageous card of that pace. You're looking at that pace and you're thinking to yourself, right? You put this guy on in like the 85th minute. Boom. Everyone else is going to be tired. This guy is just going to be running straight through on goal. He grabbed himself a hat trick, a 9.6 rating. Obviously, grabbing man of match as well. Yes, his shooting does need work. Yes, his dribbling does need work. Yes, his physicals do need work. But you have to understand, this guy is originally a bronze card. A bronze card going up to a 72 silver is not too bad. Let's all be fair. Heading over to another silver, we are going to see Messiahs. Now, Messiahs is looking decent but nothing outrageous grabbing the only two goals for his team an 8.9 rating obviously grabbing man a match as well there's not much to say about him because let's all be fair no one's really really gonna be using this card because it's not really a card you want to see in your team saying that he's not outrageous i like literally any stat but heading over to caddyware now caddyware the guy i believe i put him in team loop predictions last week he didn't actually end up getting one now this guy I'm telling you guys right now, if he gets a few more informs, he's looking like an absolute outrageous player. Like, his stats are just disgusting for an 80 overall. 93 pace, 81 dribbling, 80 shooting, 75 physical, with a 71 passing to his game as well. Grabbing himself a goal, an assist, an 8.5 rating, obviously with a man match performance, but he is on fire at this current moment. And I'm hoping hoping EA do actually end up giving him one. So looking at our next player here, we are going to see Saka. Now Saka with an absolutely outrageous goal against Chelsea. Arsenal beating Chelsea 3-1. With Arsenal's current form, I'm going to be honest, I thought they were going to lose. But hey, they performed on the day and that's for something you do love to see. But what a goal was from Saka. Now, did he mean it? Let me know in the comment section because I know a lot of you, a lot of you have probably watched that goal. For me personally, I don't feel like he meant it. I feel like it was a very, very fluky goal to the point where, you know, it's one of those ones where, yeah, it went in nonetheless, but he didn't really mean it. But let me know in the comment section if you guys actually thought he meant it. Now, his card looks really good when it comes down to stuff like dribbling, pace, without a doubt. But for shooting, 67 shooting, that definitely does need work on. Scoring a single goal, a 7.7 .7 rating. And I do not believe he ended on a man of match performance. I believe Pulisic actually got a man of match performance, which is kind of questionable. Moving over to Horta. Now, Horta's card is looking pretty good for the Liga Nos. You have to understand there's not outrageous players in the Liga Nos. So someone like Horta coming into the Liga Nos, looking pretty decent. 81 pace, 84 dribbling, 80 shooting, 79 passing with the six. 61 physicals as well grabbing himself a goal an assist an 8.6 rating with the man of match performance so the next player to look at is actually going to be Gazi. now the interesting thing about this game was the fact that aston villa was down to 10 men in the first half and they still ended up winning 3-0 against crystal palace crystal palace fans i don't know what's happening to your players but your players definitely definitely need to turn up because my god you cannot be losing to a 10 men aston villa team Either way, Gazi had an amazing performance, 81 pace, 81 dribbling and 81 shooting. Definitely looks like a card that will probably need like a hunter, an engine, something to try to boost the pace as much as possible, if you know what I mean. One goal, an 8.7 rating with a man of match performance. Now, is he going to be one of the, be like, the best Premier League left wingers in FIFA 21? Obviously not. There's so many good wingers that you can get apart from Gazi, but I feel like Gazi is going to be one of those players that's probably going to annoy a lot of people when they end up getting himself in the player picks. So heading over to Canos now. Canos with an absolutely outrageous performance with the three goals, a 9.8 rating, obviously grand man of match as well. But Canos is actually from the championship, which means links with this guy is not great when you're doing the league. But when you're talking about the Spanish links, okay, that's pretty decent. You've got some decent Spanish players. Now, how usable does he actually look in FIFA 21? 80 pace, meh. You know, it's not great, but it's not bad at the same time. It's just quite average, I would say. 81 dribbling is pretty decent. 75 shooting for a winger is pretty decent. And 72 passing for a winger is also pretty decent. I feel like Canos is not ever going to get used into a foot champs team. Let's all be fair. I feel like he's going to be one of those players that's going to get a one-way ticket straight into an SBC. So moving over to a familiar face, we are going to see Carrasco, a card that just gets better every single time this guy gets a team of the week because my god boys, look how good his stats are. 95 pace, outrageous. 88 dribbling, outrageous. 
87 shooting outrageous 80 passing and 69 physicals you can definitely say this is a card you would most likely want to be in team in a week but not just that you want in your player picks because my god he is looking nice too nice let's just say that to assist an 8.9 rating with the mana match performance as well now if he doesn't actually end up getting the team of the week his teammate Hermoso will actually get it because Hermoso had a really good performance as well with a single goal an 8.0 rating obviously not going mana match because Carrasco did but Carrasco you know could be left to a side knowing EA sometimes they don't really give those top tier players those team of the weeks very often so Hermoso could actually steal it now if it was up to me you already know who I'm picking, right? Between Krasko and Homoso. I'll pick Krasko in literally a heartbeat. So heading over to the next play here, we are going to see Kala Honoglu. Now, we haven't seen this card for a very, very long time. I remember his free kicks. My God. His free kicks were absolutely outrageous back in the day. And, and even in real life, we all remember how, like, far... This guy scored a free kick where he just knuckleballed top left corner. It was honestly beautiful to see. But he grabbed himself a goal, two assists, a 9.3 rating, with obviously the man match performance as well. How good does he look in FIFA 21? 85 dribbling looks really good for a cam, right? 84 passing looks really good for a cam. But then you look at the pace and you look at the shooting and you even look at the physicals and you think to yourself, right, he's not really an extremely meta cam. But he's still a player that you can most likely have fun with. So I'm going to be honest. I wouldn't mind getting this guy in player picks. Because I can obviously use it against my friends and stuff like that. But it's like, you know, it's a player where he's never going to get used into my foot champs team. Let's all be fair. So moving over to a familiar face, we are going to see Casemiro. Now the only problem if this guy gets a team of the week is the fact that he's got that foot freeze card. So that foot, foot freeze card is never going to be worse than this Casemiro card. So most likely this Casemiro card will be going for an extremely cheap price. But he still looks like a very, very good CDM. A CDM that can obviously put in a tackle. A CDM that can obviously grab those interceptions. A CDM that's got really nice strength, really nice aggression to his game. But yeah, he will never ever be better than that foot, foot freeze card. Because that foot freeze card was an absolute joke when it came down to pace. When it came down to transition speed, it was just absolutely outrageous. He grabbed himself a goal, an 8.0 rating, with the man of match performance as well. And you might be questioning, right? Why are you giving players that have the one assist, the one goal, you know, these team of the weeks, or in even putting them in the team of the week predictions? Well, there's not a lot of players that did actually turn up this week. So I feel like EA will probably drop their standards a little bit and start to give, you know, the one goals, the one assist, like the Ribberies, like the Casemiro's, if you know what I mean. So looking at our first left back, we are going to see Max. Now, Max turning up for PSV. One goal, one assist, an 8.8 .8 rating. We're obviously the man of match performance as well. You do not see a fullback grab a goal and an assist very often. It's usually like two assists, one goal just straight up. It's never usually one goal and one assist. And obviously, Max getting that, I 100% feel like he will be in the team of the week. Now, how, do how good does he look as a left back? Not too bad. I still feel like his stats are, you know, outrageously good. I feel like an anchor would probably be perfect for him because he hasn't got an extreme amount of pace to his game. But at the same time, it still needs that little bit of upgrade to obviously catch up to like the, you know, the Mbappes, the Ronaldos and stuff like that. I still feel like his defending and physicals definitely do need work as well. I feel like he's dribbling, he's passing, and even you could argue his shooting is pretty decent for a fullback. So yeah, I feel like he is 100% guaranteed to get into the team of the week. Looking at Skriniar. Now, Skriniar's dynamic image, I don't know what's happened there, but we move out at the end of the day. He's looking like a pretty decent card. I still feel like Skriniar does need that pace to his game. Even though his physicals obviously do slack a little bit, I still feel like this guy needs to be as fast as possible. So you give him that shadow chem style and you should be good to go. But he's looking like a centre back that could honestly sneak into a lot of people's teams because I feel like he's going to be a centre back that's going to put in a very, very good tackle to his game. One goal, a 7.8 rating with the man of match performance as well. Once again, a, a centre back, a full back, any of like, like that, scoring a single goal is obviously huge to EA. So I, real, I feel, really feel like they'll probably bounce onto this one and actually end up giving him a team of the week. But moving over to the keeper and it's our only keeper in this team of the week, we are going to see Miss Lera. Now Miss Lera is looking like a decent player but well, I'm going to be honest, right? You'd rather go ahead and get Nick Pope because Nick Pope is an absolutely outrageous goalkeeper this year. Him being extremely tall, save with feet trait. Is there really a point in getting a Leeds goalkeeper? Not really. 
but he doesn't even look great either. Let's all be fair. Six saves, outrageous performance, 8.4 rating with the man of match performance as well. So we're going to be ending it on our silver star prediction and it is going to be Caprari. Now Caprari is looking like a decent card, right? But the thing is you have to understand that he is three star skill moves and three star weak foot as well. Even though he's got that pace to his game, even though he's got that dribbling to his game, and even though he's got that shooting and passing kind of to his game, he's still going to be a player that is three-star, three-star. Yes, he comes from a good league. Yes, he comes from a good nationality. But he's definitely a player that you want to stick into the silver lounge and silver lounge only. You don't really want to use this card in foot champs because I don't feel like it would end well. But he did grab himself a goal, an assist, an 8.2 rating, and obviously grabbing himself the man of match performance as well. But that is going to be it for Team of the Week 14 predictions. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.